Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day so far. I started my day out with fast cardio early in the morning and it's just nice to go there, get it over with. Normally I don't do fast cardio, I'm not a fan of it. I feel like if I go in the morning before I eat breakfast, then I have no energy the rest of the day and that just doesn't work for me. And it's also proven that it's not better to go or do fasted cardio in the morning rather than doing 20 to 30 minutes after your weight session. But today was one of those days where I just knew that if I didn't go with my boyfriend this morning when he was going to the gym, then I wouldn't go. I had a really bad sleep last night and was actually supposed to have a rest day, but I figured it was just nice to come up and walk a bit. And I actually feel way more energetic now and I'm in a better mood. And being a little active is better than not being active at all. So if you have one of those days, then just do your best. And promise me, don't be too hard on yourself. Because it's natural. We all have those days and nobody feel motivated 24-7. As you can see, I'm in a different room today. Normally I sit in my kitchen, but I'm really trying to find like where is the best lighting, where is it best for me to work, where do I feel myself most, where is the, where is the best vibe and here it's actually, I, I think it's nice here, I think you can also get a little of, from the, of the outside which is so pretty unless I do this but I think I am slowly turning this room into my working room and YouTube room. So hopefully I can create a nice environment in here without no trouble with my boyfriend. Fingers crossed. But let's see about that. I'm pretty good at convincing if I want to. The only thing is that he is doing his thesis right now, the next two months. So I might have to do small steps these next two months. But after that... I'm pretty sure this will be my room. But let's get back to what this video is really about. It is what's in my gym bag. I was supposed to have a really nice gym bag from Alphali. However, that did not turn out the way I planned because my boyfriend also thought he was gonna have that specific bag. So I was supposed to have this gym bag, you know, it's really light material, super easy to carry. Now I have this leather bag which is super heavy, like really heavy. It's also really old. There is a couple of holes in it. Uh, there is a, a pocket here and you can't really use that pocket because there's holes in it so everything just falls uh, into this big room. I've had this bag for eight, nine years now. I've always loved it but I was just excited to get a new bag so uh, but to be honest I don't really care about sharing with him. He's so nice to me. I want to warn you about this. I have absolutely no clue what's hiding in that bag. I haven't emptied it or cleaned it for several years. It's like I'm just I just keep putting on more stuff in it and I don't really take that stuff out again. <laughs> so I'm a bit nervous to show you this video but uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay so first thing is I have a charger. Always have a charger in your gym bag. There is no worse thing than going to the gym, your phone is about to die, your earpods is about to die. No, always carry a charger with you. And it's not only to the gym I carry one with me, I, it's basically everywhere. I never go out without a charger. Next thing is my squat shoes. If you're following me on Instagram, you know I have talked a bit about these shoes. I was thinking about getting them for so long. I wanted the, the ones from Nike. However, they were sold out and I just couldn't wait no longer. These are from Reebok. They were quite expensive. And the thing about squat shoes is that they come in very... Um, what's it called? How do you say it in English? Very extreme colors, like very, very colorful, uh, almost rainbow shoes. They like to mix all colors and that's not really me, not, not with shoes. I love wearing colorful gym wear, but I want my shoes like black, white, gray or something like that. Just the basic colors. I've got uh, so many questions about the shoes, so I thought I would talk a bit about it. I think the shoes itself is really pretty, however, they're very, very stiff here so this thing I can barely get my feet in it 
and I don't think it's improving helping my squat the way I wanted it to I think maybe also because this shoe is one size too big so I can't really bend my ankle because this is kind of just in the way it's too stiff if you're considering getting a squat shoes please get the right size or it will slide a bit forward as it has a heel. Don't recommend getting a squat shoe. If you're in doubt, work on your ankle mobility and your hip mobility. I've actually found out afterwards that my biggest issue is that my hip is kind of locked so I need to work on my hip mobility. And I wish I knew that before because it is a lot of money to save. Then I have my belt. I love it. Love Fit. This is a size extra small and you probably need a size smaller than you actually think. Yeah, I don't know where it's from as it was a gift, but you can see here. Then I have my blue little rubber band. Your workout should be based on compound exercises and then mix it with isolation exercises. However, I love including these bands. I always use them for my warm-up. It's really good for activating your glutes and you can also use it as a finisher or if you do supersets but just have in mind that your booty won't grow just because you use a band. And then I have my straps and I couldn't do back without them. I use them every time I train back simply just because I feel like if I don't use them then I pull too much with my arms. If I use the straps I can kind of relax a bit more in my arms and pull more with my back and activate my back muscles and that really works for me and i have to like my bike this girl that's simply because i bike everywhere as you know if you follow me on instagram and if you don't follow me on instagram why aren't you following me on instagram but like i said i bike everywhere and these winter months is just so damn annoying when i leave the house when it's light outside and for example when i get off from work i get off from the gym then it's dark and you get a ticket from not having the light on so i have so many of these i have them in almost all my bags so i always bring them then i have chalk we have chalk available at my gym but if i ever go to any other gym where it's not available then it's really good if you're having a heavy session and sweating a lot i tend to sweat a lot in my hands and that is really dangerous if you're going heavy on for example bench press or if i if i'm doing pull-ups or anything doing back then i just can't hold the bar the same if i go heavy on my deadlift i can't hold the bar i need chalk otherwise it's just light out of my hands and that can lead to an injury. So if you have the same problem and don't have chalk available at your gym, I can highly recommend that. The one I have is like liquids, so yeah, it's like liquids coming out and then you have to wait for two minutes or so and then it will start to dry and then you can start doing your exercise. Then, <laughs> then I have a jumping rope. This is actually not mine, it's my boyfriend's, but I think it's a really good uh, jumping rope is really good quality. We have some at the gym as well, but I don't know how to use them. I don't. It's like you can adjust the length of it and that just doesn't work for me. I don't know why. But I think it's always like that. You get you get a favorite and then you just hold on to that favorite. Okay, I feel like I'm talking a lot and I should probably speed up because I have a few more things in my bag actually. But then I have this band. So there's a hole in it here and a hole in it here. I often use it when I do shoulders, so I tie it like to something here and then do this one. Or I use it for a warm-up exercise, you can do, okay, wait, I'm not gonna hit the lamp. This, or you can do this way, you pull with your back muscles. So hard. And when I do it as a warm-up exercise, I do like... 20 30 reps, but this is really good. You can actually just never get too many bands it's So good for both warm-up finish up super set Rehabilitation exercises and it's so easy to bring if you go on vacation If you just want to do like, you know a home workout or you have a small gym at the hotel You're staying at then a band really works wonders Then I have hair bags because one can never get too many of these haven't we all tried going to the gym, forgetting a hairband, or the hairband kind of breaks when you're doing your hair at the gym. That is so frustrating. So if you're a girl, I think you know what I'm talking about. 
I'm just drinking some green tea, my daily green tea. Mm. Then a lip balm, of course. This is like a really old one, but I hate having dry lips. So I always have one in every single bag of mine, in every single jacket I have. I even put some in my boyfriend's jackets because if I'm not wearing a jacket, he needs to have one. There is one in the car, there is one on my nightstand, there is one in the living room, there is one in the kitchen, and then I have one in my bathroom as well. You can never get too many lip balms. And I just think like dry lips is... Nah... I don't think anybody prefer having dry lips. I mean, it's just so uncomfortable. Damn, I guess my battery is dying. I just real quick have to switch battery. All right, I am back. It's good that I'm for once are so well prepared that I, that I have an extra battery. But let's continue. Then I also have this one for my hair. I don't know what you call this in English. Um, if you know the name of this, then please let me know below because I always have such a hard time telling my boyfriend Ooh, I can't find this, I can't find this and so I say like I don't even know what I say to him, I just try to explain how it looks and that is really the struggle of not speaking the same language in a relationship however I feel like I'm growing a lot because I'm learning new words every day and it was really stepping out of my comfort zone at first when we started dating. Okay, but enough of that. Let's get back to what this video is really about. Then I of course have my gym card. I train in fitness world. Oh my god, I just found another pair of these for my bike. So now I have actually four of these in my gym bag and uh, I'm missing a pair somewhere else but yeah good I found them though that's why it's so important to clean your bag and I have more more of these more hair whoa more hair rings whoa okay and a lock of course then I always have a pack of gum I don't know anything worse than having bad breath I don't like it I don't like when other people have it I actually have more gum and a duot run from Adidas. Why not? And if you are a girl, you know the next thing. It is like tampons, a pack of tampons. Yeah, because better safe than sorry, right? I always have it in my bag even though I'm not on my period. One can never be too sure about this. And I've actually also tried like helping out other girls because they didn't have anything in their bag so it's just nice to also be able to help other people then i have two brushes for my lashes my pretty lashes i love having my eyelash extensions for everybody curious it's it's either it's single lash extensions and i'm getting them done by fix plus studio i don't even know why i have two i mean one should be enough but i think it's because i often just go straight from the gym to my lash lady and get them done or the other way around so I go from the lash place to the gym and train straight afterwards but these also something i'm carrying in my handbags and that is pretty much it what i have in my gym bag but now i'm really curious to know what is three things you always carry around in your gym bag let me know and if you like this video then please also let me know make a comment give it a like press the thumb up it really helps my video it really helps my channel in general i know it's just a like but it makes a total difference i always love when you guys are suggesting new ideas i can do for videos so please don't hold back let me know if there's anything you want me to do and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.